Before this video started, I just wanted to let you guys know that I am so sorry that this video is literally an hour long, but there was so much stuff to cover in this update, but there is timestamps in the description below, so if you're looking for a specific part, you can just go down into the description and find the times where they are. But I hope you guys enjoy the video anyways. Welcome back to another video. So as you guys can see, it is currently 10 p.m. right now because the Star Stable update ran late and I've just been chilling here. I was literally like about to go and just lie in my bed to watch YouTube instead of waiting for the update because I just got back from work like two hours ago. But you know, that's beside the point. As you can see, Star Stable is currently updating, but we are going to read the news. So, the final part of Catherine's diary. Hi there, Star Fam. Today, exciting things are happening at Starshine Ranch. Well, you will also be able to wrap up the stories from Catherine's diary. That's not all, though. <laughs> because we also have a special Connemara bundle available. What? Oh my god, I'd have a... <laughs> Keep on reading to find out more about all the cool things happening in this week's update. If you are new to Star Stable, how the... Oh my god, wait, this is exciting. <gasps> I'm sorry, that's the night away. Okay, let's do one thing at a time. Okay. Catherine's Diary. Once again, you can meet up with the soul writer Linda Chanda to collect memory fragments and fra fragments and venture into the memories of the mysterious Catherine. The final part of her diary. Di diary. I can't speak. I'm sorry. <laughs> the final part of it of her diary will bring strong emotions for sure join linda on this part of the journey and you will get a reward meet up with her in her home in yalheim to get started a reward like what oh my god i'm excited <laughs> dance the night away at starshine ranch <gasps> oh my god we did a um Instagram poll on outfits that look like that. Anyway, I kind of thought the colors were ugly. <gasps> Star Stable's updated, yay. Um, I kind of thought the colors were kind of weird. I didn't really like the colors. Dance the night away at Starshine Ranch. Welcome to the dance floor at Starshine Ranch. Now you and your friends can dance your heart out at any time using some groovy new western style moves. Get together and dance, dance, dance. This dance floor works a little bit differently than what you're used to from our discos. When you enter the dance floor, you can choose from four different camera angles and you can even choose if you want to see NPCs dancing with you on the dance floor or not. The dance floor is open all day, every day. That is pretty cool. New boots and hats. The Starshine Ranch Shop Hackamalls and More just got a delivery of some super fashionable boots and hats. Boots and cats. <laughs> check them out and we're sure you're going to love them. I mean, I'll check them out. Oh, look at the cute Connemaras. Connemara bundles. If you've been considering getting one of our adorable Connemara ponies, why not get one now? For two weeks only, you will be able to get some beautiful tech items with no extra charge when you buy the Bay Roan, Bay or Buckskin Connemara from the horse seller right next to Old Jasper's farm in Moorland. This bundle lets you get both a pretty horse and a full tack set for 650 star coins. All of the tech sets have full stats, which means you'll have to be at least level 9 to buy the Connemaras with the tack. As Connemaras are ponies, they are able to participate in both the Pony Race and the Pony Championship. And these will be available for two weeks? Yep, for two weeks. Guys, May 20th is when I have a maths exam, so that's not very fun. I just made a bunch of new high scores. Ugh, reset high scores. We've reset all the high scores. Chat tweak. We've updated the colors of the chat interface. Okay. Coming next week, you might want to spend even more time at Starshine Ranch now because even more beautiful quarter horses are on their way. Amazing. Okay, I'm going to jump into Star Stable right now. Oh, right guys, so we are in Star Stable, right where I logged off, and um, I'm currently training up this horse because I'm planning a video with this horse, but um, 
I'm at, I am actually training the quarter horses at the moment, but I guess since we are here in um, Fir Grove, we might as well ride over to Starshine Ranch. Also, I'm really sorry that it's like dark right now in the game. It might be a bit hard to see. It's just because Star Stable updates come out in the afternoon. I'm literally only like it's literally just always going to be nighttime if I want to get this video uploaded for tomorrow but yes I'm also wearing the same outfit that I was in my previous video but we just ignore that um Starshine Ranch what was there at Starshine Ranch oh yeah the dancing thing new tax sets and um Connemara's so um I'm not sure if I'm gonna buy a Connemara we'll just have to see but let's uh let's look at this stuff all right so we have new hats oh the hat's coming okay this green hat is kind of cool i don't know if i'll buy it though it's, it's kind of expensive for a hat that i might not even wear um new boots the colors are very out there i don't know how i feel about the colors i'm more of just a black or brown boot kind of person same with hat um that's literally it just new hats but you know here are all the new styles these hats are kind of cool but i don't think i'm going to buy any for 115 star coins um so let's uh let's go to the dance area the dance area looks pretty cool oh my god there's so many people <sighs> looking back there's honestly not a lot of people but maybe firestar is just like that i don't know there's so many people the music is cool oh, this is cool oh my god this is like a whole new interface it's kind of like really big what are the colors yes okay so the colors are a bit duller i guess not too noticeable though the interface is really big but i'm not sure if it's just because i'm on a 4k screen oh my god look at us all <laughs> You look so dumb. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, we can look at other people, I guess. Oh, look at us at the front. <laughs> Far out. Does this change the dance move? I'm kind of confused. Oh, you can go into photo mode though. Okay. Right, right. I want to dance like a different dance, or is this the only dance? Oh, we're getting in. Oh, remove dances. Oh my god. <laughs> this is so fun. Okay, I like this. Oh my. Josh looks really good here. No tea, just facts. Josh looks good. <gasps> Lisa! yes girl yes girl look at lisa go let's who are you oh look at josh though josh looks so happy he looks like he's in his element i am happy for you josh let's just dance oh yeah i'm not wearing western stuff but it's okay see this hat that she's wearing is kind of cool also why does she get a rope on her belt that's cool this is kind of fun i'm i'm kind of jamming this is fun yeah i'm enjoying this this is rather fun <laughs> all right i think that's enough dancing let's um find my horse there's my horse and um, let's go look at the Katamaras for you guys. If I can find them. I wonder if they're on the limited horses. Oh, they're at Yorvik Stables? Wait. No, they're at the they're at the uh they're not even here. Oh my god, I'm so dumb. So dumb. For some reason I assume they would be here. Do they shop here? No, they don't. Do they shop there? Yes. No, they don't. Cool. So let's go to 
for Pinta then. And I'm actually just going to ride there because I don't want to spend my Yorvik shillings. Oops, I'm cheap. <gasps> oh no. What is that? What is the sparkles in the air? Is that just showing that there's something new? What is this? What the heck? It is not showing that there's something new. What is this? What? Is it some? It is what's new. I thought- Oh my god, I- I thought there was gonna be over by the um thing by the ma traveling market that was used to be traveling this is kind of cute though okay i like this okay so let's look at these connemaras see the thing is that i really like this tax set but i want to buy like okay i already have a red moon this connemara is really cute though anyway i'm genuinely considering buying this one because i don't have a connemara but maybe i just need to rein it in chat is so ugly now i i like the chat let's talk about the chat for a minute i like this it's kind of darker it is better for my eyes it is easier to see i kind of don't like how the names don't stand out against the text like you kind of read it like teak and silverbrook oh my god i like the bane buckskin Whereas before, you could tell that this was a name and then this was text, so. I think that's my only criticism, but I, I do like the darker colours. I think it is easier to read and I think that it was a good call. Some people are freaking out about gosh dang chat colours, I guess. Okay, but um, let's uh, head off to... Uh, Yalaheim. I'm actually going to change horses though. Alrighty guys, so we have just arrived in Yalaheim and I'm going to make my way to, um, Lin- is it Linda's house? I think it's Linda's house. And, um, there's going to be so many people inside of her house. So that's going to be fun. Evidently, I don't know where I need to go. So we'll figure that out eventually. <laughs> um... There isn't a massive amount of people. Alright. Linda, we are back to help with Catherine's diary. Oh, I can't see people in here. Maybe they removed that. It's time to complete our book restoration project. Let's find and repair the rest of Catherine's precious memories. Hell yes. I'll call upon the power of the moon circle to help make the memory fragments visible to you. There are just four more sets of memories to recover and then Catherine's diary will be fully restored. Once you've collected all the lost fragments associated with an entry, return here and I'll join you in repairing the memory using Soul Sight. Good luck. Alright, so we have to go to the North Harvest Counties, Silverglade, South, the South Harvest Counties, and South, no, not South Roof. Wait, where's the last one? Didn't she say four? I can only see three. Um, so let's head out. Is this counted as Harvest Counties? I guess it is. I have to be more hype about this. Oh, right, guys. <laughs> okay, guys, so I'm starting my adventures here in Silverglade Village where we are going to try and find some butterflies. So, um, let's just get started and I'll show you guys all of the locations. Oop. <laughs> so yeah oh what a great start oh my god so the first one is right here next to silvergate village i can give you guys the coordinates as well 190 200 okay and the second one is literally right over here okay here are the coordinates 187 196 and the next one is literally just down here oh my god Look at us go. We have found 3 out of 10. That's a solid 30%. 173 or 191 are the coordinates. Let's continue. 
Okay, I, I'm going delusional. We just need to look for stars. They're not even stars. They're butterfly like this one right here. <laughs> Give you to me. Um, that was number... I don't even know. But, um... Coordinates are 182186. Oh my god, you guys. The invisible box is still here. Like, I swear. I remember I had so much fun with a club once because I was like, guys, there's an invisible box. And it's like a ramp. You can run on top of it. I'm having too much fun right now. <sighs> yeah, okay. <laughs> she ran into it. See, see, it's a box. <laughs> Alright guys, so we just found the- f I don't even know what number. What number are we up to? One, two, three, four, five. We are halfway there. So we just found the fifth butterfly. It is at the location of 198-201. Alright guys, we just found the sixth one. It is just here, um, straight across from there. And it, has, it is at the location of 217. 183, 184, near the bush. Near the bush. <laughs> and we have found the seventh one up in the pe camping site by the windmill. It's one of those ones. I, I'm not keeping track, and that's the wrong button. And this one is at location 203, 172. Oh my god, the balloon! The balloon is back! Since when has the balloon been back? Wait. And we have found our eighth memory fragment, maybe? And this is 172164. So I thought that we would look back here in uh, Silver Glade Village. Oh, yep, good thing that I did. Here is our ninth butterfly and it is at the location of 182-191. And um, yeah, let's just jump through this crack. <laughs> let's go. Let's go down this way. Oh, oh, I can't see anything. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> we found the last one. Yay. We have found all of the memory fragments in Silverglade. Hooray! Oh, how cute. So is Lisa going to call us? Did we unlock something? Yes, we do. Maybe this would be a good time to catch up on your progress with finding Catherine's lost memories. Swing by my, pla swing by my place next time you're in Yalaheim. So let's head back to Yalaheim, I suppose, and uh, do a bit more memory fragment quests. So we're heading to Silverglade this time, how convenient. Then I can return this stack of books to the Baroness Library on the way. Silverglade, here we come. Yes, indeed. I wonder if Silverglade looked different 20 years ago. Do you think the village has the same councilman? He looks like he's about 100 years old, so I'd say yes. That's a little mean, isn't it? Yes, she is about to do her little dancey thing. Oh. She could be a TikTok dancer. I'm telling you. Oh my god, that was so bright. Oh my god. That actually hurt my eyes. Okay, let's run towards the fragments. Now this is my kind of memory. Spooky costumes, snack-sized candy bars, pumpkin spice in your latte. Yep, we're in Catherine's Halloween memory. Like the, um... I wonder if Gallopook Thompson will make an appearance. Like the pumpkin search at the end of that the attic not the attic, the basement. <laughs> the basement of the castle. I see Catherine wasn't about to let growing up keep her from a fun night of trick or treating. Thomas doesn't seem as enthusiastic about his costume. I hope this doesn't turn out to be another tragic memory. Wait, there's so many fragments. Oh no, that's not a fragment, that's a light. <laughs> Oh my god. I was like, wait, there's four this time? Usually there's only three. Now Thomas is getting into the spirit. Catherine seems to be a good influence on him. The Baroness in the background? Oh, is that? Yes, that's Annabelle Silverglade, the Baroness. The two of them have no idea that she is Thomas's mother's mother. 
But here she is watching her firstborn fall in love. She must have been very proud of him. Oh, oh, how cute. <laughs> how sweet. Oh my god, wait. Is this kid friendly? What? Are they kissing? The night is young and I think we should leave this memory to Catherine and Thomas, don't you? Let's head back to my place. Oh, yes, very kid friendly star stable. Oh, it's bright again. Oh my god, my eyes. <laughs> as pleasant as this romantic memory was, I must confess. I was hoping this trip to the past would have included a Galloper Thompson sighting or some sort of ghostly presence. But then again, we are exploring the memories of the deceased. So I suppose you can say our whole endeavor is a sort of paranormal investigation. Spooky. I was literally just about to say that. Like, we are looking at ghosts. Love and ghosts, my two favorite things to write about. That was such a special memory for Catherine. I feel lucky to have been able to witness it, don't you? I wonder if someday I'll have the same sort of feelings for someone that Catherine had for Thomas. Would I recognize the moment the feelings changed like Catherine did? Girl, me too. <laughs> if you don't mind, I'm going to do a little writing. Even if I don't have romance in my real life right now, it never fails to inspire my fiction. Girl, me too. <laughs> um, I don't feel like reading this book, to be honest gonna be honest and just saying oh i should i should read it we'll read it we'll read it even though i haven't read the other ones to you guys dear diary thomas is definitely not dull i just want to write it here in indelible ink i can read he thinks i'm special and not in a prophecy kind of way for him my smile is enough i don't have to save the world I don't have to save the world to make him happy and I do what I I do want to make him happy very much is that strange happy Halloween dear diary Thomas convinced me to go trick-or-treating tonight even though I'm way too old for it I had such a lovely time for the first time in ages I didn't think about 18 and the chosen one I just ate a ton of candy stood by the flickering jack-o-lanterns and felt can you believe it happy Still, there is so much on my mind. As long as I'm with Thomas, I can keep the rambling thoughts away. But I know that's cheating. In the end, I will need to choose. I can't have both. Or can I? One of my mother's favourite poets once wrote that when you find yourself wanting everything, you are dangerously close to having nothing. Is that true? I wonder what my mum would make of all of this. I wish she was here. Ahem. Mum is spelt wrong and fight me about it. I'm just kidding. Um, wait. Twilight falls, the night is closing in. I don't know why that makes me so excited, but it's also kind of depressing because it means that it's 11 o'clock. On a school night, look at me being a rebel. It's for, the, it's for you guys, man. I'm doing this for you guys. Because you guys need the content. <laughs> So, I guess I've decided to start in Forgotten Fields. And, um, yeah, I don't know why. And, oh my god. <laughs> I found one! If I can. I saw it. I swear I saw it, unless I'm going crazy. Oh my god. My luck right now. I'm living for it. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Yes, we found one. The first fragment, which is 78188. <gasps> found one! 56194. <gasps> there is one down here though. Hello! And that is at the location of 52208. Ah, and we found another one. Is this our fourth? Forty-one one hundred and 
and there's not one at the end of this pathway? No, there isn't. Okay. Just thought I'd double check. Is that the... No, it's okay. Don't mind me. Oop. My heart went. Oop. How many have we found? How many have we found? Four. So yeah, we're almost halfway there. Oh, we're halfway there. Uh, and on that note, we have found the halfway there point. So this is number five. 58179. Oh my god, guys. Do you remember the quest where we walked across water? Oh, the memories. The memories. My heart can't take it. I have to admit that this is very fun. I'm having fun. <laughs> this is 86167. And we have found number 8? 6? 7? I don't. It's a number, okay? And that is it is at the location 99185. Oh, we found one. <laughs> Hey, that's number eight. Number eight is found and it is at the location 86, sorry, 89,193. Let's go. Oh, my heart went. Oh. We have two left, <laughs> two left in this location. And then we have one more and then I can go to bed. It'll be like midnight before I go to bed. I <sighs> don't know how I feel about it. It's fine. What's up with the world day? What's up with the world? I got that song stuck in my head. Found one, found one, found, 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 found number nine. Oh, secret smuggler's place. I've never been here before. Ooh, this is cool. They definitely be smuggling some stuff. This is at location 76, 164. And let's go find the final butterfly. Oh god, I feel like I've been everywhere. My god, one million years later. I never thought I'd ever see you. <sighs> oh my god. Oh my god. And this is at location 84179. Oh my god. Maybe this would be a good time to catch up on your progress with finding Catherine's lost memories. Swing by my place next time you're in Yalheim. So I've decided to explore the other the Pona. Which one did we do just do? Did we did did we just do Western or Eastern? That was the North Harvest Counties. So we're gonna go to the South Harvest Counties and then we'll go back to Linda and uh, talk with her. So Alright, so we have found the first butterfly. It is at the location 18262. There's people over here. That means there must be. Yes! Butterfly! Number 2 at 175300. I did see one. See, I wasn't going crazy. Oh my god. Wow. Look at me. Look at me go. Yes, and this is at location 147, 306. 
And we have found our third one. Is it third one? I think it's only the third one. Oh, it is the fourth one. Hell yes. And it is, it is at location 166, 280. You know, I just thought I'd take this time whilst we uh, run randomly around to say that I'm sorry if you are using this as a guide to find where the butterflies are because I'm not doing this in chronological order. So, um... Have fun riding back and forth like I have and as as we speak there's another one so yes okay we are making good progress yes wait are we over halfway we are we are over halfway and this is in the location 165 313 honestly popular servers be like Everyone searching for butterflies and then fire star at midnight be like Only crazy people are online. Oh my god. How did I miss this the first time I rode past here? But we have found another butterfly at 146 285 I'm not seeing one. I'm not seeing a butterfly. I can hear one a we have 153 268 and we have only three butterflies left to find okay oh i can't steal at midnight is it called guardians it is called guardians dale sparkles what do the sparkles do nothing okay but this sparkles means butterfly which is good and this is at location 132, 278. <gasps> Found one. Yes. At 151, 262. That's kind of satisfying numbers. Oh my god. Oh my god, you guys. I have been running around like a crazy person for so long now because this butterfly is so far away from all the rest like all the rest are up here and it's all the way over here but the location to the final butterfly is 120 291 let's go talk to Linda once she texts us of course Maybe this would be a good time to catch up on your progress with finding Catherine's lost memories. Swing by my place next time you're in Yalheim. So the next memory takes us to Guardian's Dale. That place holds such intense memories. I haven't been back since... since we lost Elizabeth. There's no turning back on this journey, right? Let's go back there and see this through together. What are we about to find out in Guardian's Dale? I have so many questions about this place. Who built it and why? What happened to the fifth statue? And why did Evergrey and Elizabeth invoke Catherine with such agony and fear when we were here last? I really like the sound effects. Just saying. Look at her little like power circles. How cool. Let's go. I don't see the soul riders. Just Catherine and Evergrey. Did they come alone? No, not alone. Elizabeth followed them. Aiden, bless her. It looks like Evergrey is attempting some sort of ritual. No big bonny gizmos this time. This is pure magic. Catherine standing beside the ruins of the broken statue. How did the poem go again? The fifth will show the way. The way to where, I wonder. <laughs> that was cool to read. We used these ruins to, to rescue Anne, but as Evergrey explained it, we were bypassing the portal's original function with the keystone you made. Perhaps someday we'll travel to the portal's intended destination. Ooh. 
What the? Where did Catherine go? I just got shivers. This one has four fragments. Oh my god. I have shivers. And now the horse is gone? What's happening? What is Evergrey trying to do? Oh, we have so many fragments. The light of 18. It's so bright. It's like the bond I felt with media, only a million times more intense. Evergrey wouldn't try to do that, would he? Oh my god, what is happening right now? Half a soul gone just like that, and with it, Aideen's light. A loss like that, it's worse than death. Evergrey, what did you do? Something tells me this is... This is the moment that sealed Catherine's fate. Oh my god, I have shivers. Oh my god. I have so many shivers. Oh my gosh. I want to get like a blanket now because I'm cold. I don't want to be here anymore. Let's go back to my place. I need to hug Misty. Honestly, that's a mood. Where is my cat? I can't be certain what we just witnessed, but my hypothesis is that Evergrey was attempting to manifest Aiden through Catherine and her horse. What I don't understand is why he would take such a risk with Catherine's life, her very soul. And what location has to do with it? Didn't Evergrey say we were built by the Pandorians in the ancient past? What is the connection? The deeper we dig into this mystery, the more I realize how little we understand about the Keepers of Aideen. If you don't mind, I have a lot to think over. If you'd like to review this memory in Catherine's own words, you'll find the diary entry in your journal. Let's read this. This is intriguing. Dear Diary, Lately, I've been thinking a lot about trust. How do I know who's looking out for me and who's not to be trusted? Once upon a time, trust seemed so easy. It came naturally, like the water gently flowing in the creek outside my bedroom window. Trust was everywhere, or so it seems, now, looking back. Trust was my small hand reaching out to grasp my father's big... I, I can't figure out how to say the word. Coal used. Coal, I think I know what they mean. Knuckles. Ernest blue blue brown eyes seeking mine across the schoolyard that moment when you know you're about to start galloping and everything is heightened more real trust is physical or muscles and nerves trust is instinctual you just know and yet i find myself knowing nothing my stomach is in knots my muscles wired tight i can't stop my head from spinning faster and faster there is so much at stake after everything that happened with the lost sisterhood, everyone seems to be looking at me to find the right answers. It almost makes me laugh. Can't they see that I'm the last person to ask? It seems the more I find out about magic, about Aideen, about the holy circle, the more confused I get. Can I trust Evergrey? I want to trust him, but there's something about the way he looks at me that makes my skin crawl. He is so devoted to the cause. I'm always scared to gaze too deeply into his eyes. They sizzle and crack like embers. Too much devotion is what gets you in the end. That's why I try not to care too much about anything. I can tell that he's the kind of person who burns bright and fast, just like my mum. Of course, that's why I find myself so mesmerised by him. It takes one to know one. At the same time, he makes me uncomfortable. He pushes too hard, wants too much. If I am indeed part of Jorvik's future, shouldn't I know for sure by now? Surely there would be no need for pushing. I would go out into the wild in the dead of night and not look back. I would not think of all the havoc I might wreak. But I am not ready to do that. Thomas has asked me to marry him. Dad says that we are too young, but it feels right. He makes me feel safe in a way I've never experienced before. He makes me think that maybe, just maybe, I get my happy ending. Just like everyone else. I'm not willing to walk away from that. At least not yet. 
what does that have to do with what we just saw like i'm lacking the connection but you know we'll just continue on a memory in the forgotten fields the irony isn't lost on me come on cassandra let's see what the past has to tell us this time these fields are so close to Yalheim, but somehow I always forget they're here. Strange, isn't it? That's the sleeping widow over there, right? I recognize it from the painting in the library. Do you know... Oh, sorry. <laughs> I can't read. Do you think Catherine had a magical business with that ancient tree? I'm not doubting it, Linda. I'm sorry, I touched the, the microphone. Okay, where to start? We'll start down here, I guess. Look who's waiting beneath the tree. Thomas, you deviled, you eloped. How romantic. And who's that performing the ceremony? He seems familiar. That's the old hermit from South Hoof, isn't it? It must have been a very short but sincere ceremony. Okay, I'm confused. <laughs> As a kid, like everyone else, I grew up with stories about true love's, true love's kiss. Now that I'm older, I prefer love stories that are a bit more complicated. Enemies to romance. Unrequited. Unrequited? I don't know. The more melodramatic, the better. But when I see a kiss like this, I believe in old-fashioned storybook love again. And the world is perfect. Here comes Catherine riding with someone. Avalon, I think. Is it just me? Or does Catherine seem to be dressed a little fancy for a ride in the countryside? I totally read these in the wrong order. It's funny, I've never actually seen Avalon ride before. He's always such a homebody. I wonder if he still goes out for hacks when we're not looking. You did it, the memory's complete. I should probably pull us back to the present just to be safe. I totally read those out of order but oh well what can you do now Hello. sniffle i'm so happy we were, we were able to experience this moment in Catherine's life i just love weddings i don't suppose you have a tissue honestly i don't i'm sorry <laughs> so Catherine and thomas eloped and had a private wedding beneath the sleeping widow that can't be a coincidence. The sleeping widow lost its mate, but the love it felt for its partner never died. Do you think Catherine and Thomas knew their time together would be short? As with the other memories, you can read about it in Catherine's own words by looking at your journal. Will do. Dear Diary, Glorious, glorious news. Thomas and I are married. In the end, we decided to elope. We made our vows, I think this meant to be vows, under the sleeping widow tree in the Harvest Counties, with Avalon as our only witness. Thomas's good friend, the hermit from South Hoof, performed the ceremony. Yes, I was wed by a hermit, and let me tell you, it was awesome. Dad is not happy about being left out. He wanted a big party with all of Silverglade invited, but I think he's already getting over the disappointment. He said he's moving to the farm up in Golden Hills Valley. More space for me and Thomas to spread our wings, he said. I think he's just as he's just eager to be a grandpa. I've never been happier than I am at this very moment. It frightens me because obviously things won't stay like this forever. That is a goddamn mood. <laughs> I still feel something dark and lurid beckoning me at night. But as long as Thomas holds me in his arms, I can keep the darkness at bay. I just wish he could hold me forever. Can you believe we're almost at the end of restoring Catherine's diary? Only one page remains before we can close the book on this, uh, book. Something about this last memory is a little different. I have a very clear vision that the memory will take us to Doyle's Abbey. Go ahead and collect the memories as before, but this time Media and I will meet you there when you're done, so you don't have to come back to Jarlheim. Also, there's something I need to do before we enter this last memory. 
all right so this is the fourth one that they were talking about in the news but i'm actually going to go to bed because it's really late at night and i will catch you guys back in the morning when we uh go around go around i can't speak that is why i need to leave i will see you guys in literally a second Whew. got here okay Good morning everyone, so um, it's the next day and I would just like to apologize if last night I sounded really like dead inside, it's just, you know, it was midnight and also when um, it's midnight you can't speak as loud so I was trying to speak as quiet as possible but it is the morning time, we are here in Fort Pinter so we're gonna go find the fragments at Doyle's Abbey, so yeah. And I can already see one over here, which is always a great start to the morning. This is number two, okay. And this is at the location 239 and 238. I can hear another one. Oh my god, there's two. I, I found two. I can see... I just saw three, like, you can, if you go down here, it's just like, hang on, <laughs> just a little further, one, two, and there's a third one up there, okay, maybe you can't see them all in the same frame, but they're all literally like a few meters from each other, so here we have another one, 242, 236, we have this one over here, which is 244, 235, and then if we go down this little slopey bit a little bit, we can get this one down here, which is at 245, 235, and that brings us up to four fragments, which is amazing. And here's the other one. You know what? And I can see two more. Three. I can see another three. I won't have to cut out this part at all because it's like, we're just finding fragments, you know? So this is 241, 229. 238, 229. And 236, 232. And that brings us up to seven seven fragments wow so let's go and find the last three speaking of last three we found another one at 239 227 and i can see another one up there so we have to go back around and up to the top Ow, I can't ride. Okay. <laughs> here is one here at 242, 231. Now, where's the last one going to be? Ow. <laughs> How far away can it be? I can hear it. Is it down on the beach? Yes, we found it. It's down here. All right, and this is the last fragment, which is crazy. That was so fast and really easy. You know, I was going to say that the silver glade ones were the easiest to find, but actually the Doyle's Abbey ones are. And this is the last one at 250, 228. And now we'll wait for Linda to text us. There we go. I had a premonition that you found all the fragments of one of Catherine's memories. Meet me at Doyle's Abbey and we'll piece them together. So I think once we get out of these routes, I think that the easiest fragments were to find is I can't English. I am so sorry. The easiest fragments to find are in Doyle's Abbey and then at Silverglade and then um, the uh, Forgotten Fields were pretty easy but then the um, Juice Farm was possibly the hardest one I think. I spent the most time at the Juice Farm especially for the last one because it was like so far away. 
but yeah you guys probably don't need to even spend the time finding them like i did this is it the final memory from Catherine's diary are you ready i don't know if i am i hope you don't mind but for this final memory i invited someone to join us <gasps> what who hope i'm not late why is justin here just in time <laughs> just in time <laughs> Uh. <laughs> While you were searching for the memory fragments, I took the liberty of telling Justin about our plan to repair Catherine's diary. That's why Justin's here, you know, because Catherine's is my- I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. At first, I was really hurt that the two of you would dig around in my mother's memories. It seemed like such a violation of my family's privacy. Yeah, well, we dig around at about a lot of stuff, so... I'm so sorry. It's okay, Cassandra. Linda explained your connection to her, how you share a destiny. After all that you've done to help me come to terms with my destiny, I owe it to you to let you understand yours. Plus, if it helps me to get to know the mum I never met, it's worth it. That's kind of sad. I've never taken two people into a memory space before. I hope this doesn't mess up my calculations and leave us trapped in the time of yon yarl. What? Haha, <laughs> just kidding. This is perfectly safe. Probably. I think. You know what, Linda? I trust you. Here we go. Every single time we look at the Soul Riders, all I can do is, like, get excited for new character models. Like... I'm not saying, oh my god, we should have new character models already. I'm just saying that I think Star Steve was going to be a really, going to do a really good job of it. Oh gosh. Is that mom? She can't hear you, I'm afraid. It's only a vision, an echo from the past. Oh, she's pregnant. She's beautiful. And she is, <laughs> that's me in there. In our trips to the past, we've seen many sides of Catherine, but I've never seen her this full of joy. Would she feel the same way if she knew the danger I'd bring to everyone around me? Justin, you're not. It's okay, you don't have to pretend. We both know who my grandfather is. I can't hide from him forever. Not now, Justin. Let's focus on this moment. There's more to this memory. It almost looked like looks like she's waiting for us that can't be possible i have shivers oh my god i have shivers i found you oh my god i hope that the journey was not too difficult i'm glad you did not go alone <gasps> i actually have shivers i'm cold i'm also so close to the microphone <laughs> mom my beautiful Justin, I am so proud of the man you've become. Proud? I'm a mess. My grandfather, Garnick, the plans they had for me. I'm marked by evil. I'm a danger to everyone around me. Sweet boy, destiny has a powerful pull, but it does not define us. You are not your grandfather anymore than I was Aiden reborn. Isn't that right, Cassandra? <gasps> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> We didn't, we, I can't, I can't read. We needn't wait for Aideen's return. The goddess is reborn with every horse and rider who open their hearts and form a true bond. Aideen's gift is love. She's been with us all along, in me, in you. At least that is what I believe. Justin, Cassandra, no one truly knows what your future holds. Find the destiny your heart desires. What about Linda? Are you leaving Linda out? <laughs> Nemo is calling me. It is time to return to the light. Love is all. Mom! She's gone, Justin. <gasps> oh no! Oh. Oh. She didn't speak to Linda at all. I feel bad. Mom! Dad! I'm so happy they had each other. Goodbye, Mom. I love you. Aww. Time to pass behind us. Next stop, the present. Maybe it's meant to be like time to put the past behind us. I don't know. Back to the present time. That was like... I had shivers. 
Oh, I don't. I don't know if this is gonna be like the end of this one. Thank you for giving me this chance to see my family, the three of us together. You don't know how much this meant to me. Now I've lost my mum again. You haven't lost her. She lives on in you, Justin, and you can know her through her diary. I'll bring you the book just as soon as we're done. Thanks, Linda, and thank you, Cassandra. I'll never forget this. I feel like things just like turned around so quickly. Like Justin suddenly here, suddenly we're speaking to Catherine. Like I'm, I'm kind of confused. <laughs> A living memory. I still can't believe it. I'm so glad we will be able to share that moment with Justin. All of Catherine's diary pages are restored. You can now go back and read about her life whenever you want. Okay, so let's read this law book quickly, the very last one. Dear diary, the time has come to say goodbye. Is that the goodbye song in the background? I don't think it is, but the music is good anyway. This will be my last journal entry. I am done with this mortal body. My journey from now on will be a spiritual one. I am giddy with excitement thinking about it. I suppose I should feel scared, but I am not. From now on there is only calm and light. No matter what happens next, I know that my husband and Justin will be okay. There is a little sadness, of course. How could there not be? when my son will grow up without his mother, just like I had to grow up without mine. There is darkness in my son as well as light. I know that my moon sister spoke true, but Thomas is the kindest, most loyal person I know. He will be there for Justin, I know he will. He will show our son that love is stronger than fate. Even now with the blushing sun rising over the rooftops of our little farm, a slight hint of summer in the morning air, there is so much I don't know. But here's what I do know. Aideen's gift is love. That gift is not meant for one mortal girl. Her gift is for everyone who can find that bond with another soul. The power to protect Jorvik does not depend on the prophecy. It's all around us. The power is in our hands and in our hearts. They thought that Aideen would return through me, but now I go to join her in the light, in never-ending love. My spirit will run for three. <laughs> My spirit will run free with the horses I love. I will never get the chance to tell him about it face to face. But after I'm gone, he will be able to read my journal, and then you will understand. Your mother loves you, Justin. My love, Aideen's love, will always be with you. Ah, this journey has been an emotional roller coaster that I can agree with. I need to get home to feed Misty. Why don't you swing by and we can talk about what we learned? Oh, <gasps> we get a meteor blushy! Oh my god! Meet Linda in her room in Yellowheim. Okay, where's my horse? Did I? I don't think I left my horse all the way over here, but okay. Ah, ah, <laughs> ah. We are back in Moorland and I am not Moorland in Yellowheim and I'm having trouble. Okay guys, so we are back here in Yellowheim, riding up to um, Linda's house so that we can talk about this. And I think that this set of story quests are going to finish soon. Are these story quests or are these... I'm confused. Because here it says side quest. I don't... I thought these were story quests, but I'm not sure. Did getting to know Catherine help you understand anything about your own destiny? I'm going to be honest. No. <laughs> I learned that destiny is overrated. I learned that with power comes risk. It's a hard lesson, but one I know all too well. For Catherine, the risks prove tragic. But I don't think that has to be your fate or any of ours. We can lift each other up. We learned so much in our investigation. But there's so much more we don't know. I read that wrong, it's fine. About Catherine and about what the Keepers of Aideen stand for. What Elsa Fripp and the Dru Druids, I can't speak, I'm so sorry, not telling us. Maybe they're as lost as we are. You're probably right. I used to think grown ups had all the answers. The truth is, they never did. They're just afraid to admit it. This journey started with an echo, you and Catherine. 
For it thought that you shared a so-called destiny, but sisterhood of four soul riders echoes too. The strains of friendship, the hope, the tragedy. Will that happen to the sisterhood hap- Will what happen to that sisterhood happen to ours? I think that would actually be really sad if that happened. No, you're stronger than that. Thanks, Cassandra. I really hope you're right. Not to jinx anything, but I'm feeling a little lightheaded. Using Soul Sight with both you and Justin took a lot out of me. I should really get some rest. But before you go... I can't help but notice that you've been eyeing my meteor plushie ever since you first came over. I made it myself, you know, modelled after the plushies they sell at the Purple Pony. Where's the meteor plushie in her room? Is it one up there? I can't tell. <sighs> I want you to have it. Please take it. It's okay. If I need an adorable meteor to hug, I can just go outside. Take good care of this one, okay? Um, yes. Let's go look at the meteor plushie. Uh, <laughs> oh, how cute. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it wasn't too all over the place and maybe it helped you with finding your memory fragments. If it did, let me know in the comments below. But I hope you guys are having an awesome day or have had an awesome day. And I will see you guys in my next video. And remember guys to stay simply a Masawa. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all later. Bye.